In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a rational equation that simplifies to linear factorable quadratic denominator. We're asked to solve for x, and since x is in the denominator, we're going to need to find the lowest common denominator, but first we need to factor where possible. And in this example, the x squared minus 2x minus 15 is factorable. So that's going to be our first step. Rewriting the rest of the equation, since we are factoring and the leading coefficient here is 1 for the x squared minus 2x minus 15, I know that it would have to factor into an x and an x, and I would look for numbers that multiply to be 15, but then add to minus 2, so 5 and 3 multiply to 15, and since they need to add to a minus 2, then this would be a minus, and this would be a plus. And now that we have all of our denominators factored, I can identify the lowest common denominator, which would have to have an x minus 5, just as the first term does. It would also need to have an x plus 3, because the second fraction has an x plus 3, and then it would also have to have an x minus 5 and an x plus 3 represented in the lowest common denominator. So our lowest common denominator is x minus 5, x plus 3. We would want to multiply each one of these terms by that lowest common denominator. So the first term I would multiply by x minus 5, x plus 3. The second term by x minus 5, x plus 3, and the last term I would multiply by the x minus 5, x plus 3. And this is where things will start to simplify, because in that first term the x minus 5's are going to cancel, leaving me with 1 times x plus 3, which is just x plus 3. In the second term the x plus 3's cancel, leaving me with a positive 5 times x, 5x and a positive 5 times minus 5 or a minus 25. That's our new left hand side. On the right hand side everything is canceling in the denominator and so I'm left with just 2. So we have done a bit of work but we've now simplified things to an expression that's much easier to solve. So I'm going to combine like terms on the left hand side. I have a 1x and a 5x. Those will combine to be a 6x. And then I have a 3 and a minus 25. Those will combine to be a minus 22 equals that 2 on the right hand side. So one step closer to being solved. To isolate the x we can now add 22 to both sides. Canceling the 22 on the left leaves me 6x equals 24 on the right hand side. And then dividing by 6 on both sides leaves me an x on the left and a 4 on the right. And before I say that that is our solution, I need to check to make sure it doesn't give me a 0 in any of the denominators when I plug it in. So just doing a quick check. When I plug in x equals 4 to x minus 5, that does not give me 0. When I plug in x equals 4 to x plus 3, that does not give me 0. And since the denominator on the right hand side is x minus 4 times x plus 3, since neither of those are 0, then that denominator is also not 0. So we have eliminated the no solution possibility. Our solution is x equals 4. 